right now we found ourselves in a very unique situation where uh, many of God's people were not able to go to the house of God for corporate worship. Is live stream really church? It just feels different at home than in the church with other people. The reality is that there are times and there are people, individuals who cannot make it to corporate worship. So they have relied on radio and television. And now because of the modern technology that we have, uh, thank God for it, uh, they, they, they now can be in service by way of the internet and social media platforms and, and things such as this. And these are things such as medium, such as TCP has been doing. So right now we found ourselves in a very unique situation where uh, many of God's people were not able to go to the house of God for corporate worship. So I look at this time frame and this time period this way. Jesus told his disciples something very interesting in St. John 14 and 12. He told them, these works and greater works than these shall you do in my name. So I really look at the time frame that we're in and how many houses of worship and ministries and churches have had to take advantage of, of, of streamlining our services and things such as that to reach people because of Romans 13, who decided we're going to follow the uh, what has been stated uh, by social distancing. So we're just going to stay home and thank, thank God that we have apparatuses and vehicles like this that we can still do ministry. As I tell people all the time, the church was not shut down. The devil is a liar. The church was not shut down in 2020. The building were. The ministry continued on. And we showed proof positive the power of kingdom building versus castle. I've told my congregation many times, especially, you know, when our church was, when our building was shut down, our church was just live streaming. I said, you know, get out of bed, prepare yourself, you know, get your Bible, get your notebook, prepare your heart and your spirit, just like you do when you come into the sanctuary on Sunday morning. And I, and I think that's helpful, but t take a moment and talk to us about the importance of live streaming. I mean, because think about it, we're reaching people that we weren't reaching before uh, through the means of the internet. So, so talk to us about how, you know, this can really be a, an experience that we can draw from. Well, you know, I, I, I also want to comment on what you said earlier, which I thought is was really important. And that is when you're viewing a service from home, you need to understand that you're not a spectator. Um, you know, you, you're a participant. You're just doing it from afar. Uh, but, you know, have the mindset that this is actually service. And as you pointed out, Pastor Tim, um, this is a very effective way to get the word out. Um, there are people that probably would have never stepped into the church but because church is so readily available to them, um, they have easy access now to the word of God. I heard of people that just um, scrolling through their Facebook page, um, stumble across three or four services. And so the word of God is, is communicated. The word of God is getting out there uh, through this means. And so I hope that even past um, the situation that we're in, I hope that churches will still live stream or do some type of virtual service um, so that they can minister to people that they wouldn't normally minister. They would never come into their church, but will we'll view their service online. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit our subscribe button below and get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. Email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.